The SS Cap Arcona was involved in one of the deadliest incidents of World War II. It was used as a prison ship for thousands of concentration camp prisoners who were being relocated as the Allies liberated camps in Germany and Eastern Europe. The SS Cap Arcona was built in July 1926 and launched less than a year later. It was a large German ocean liner used for passenger transport between Germany and South America. The ship was equipped with a full-size tennis court on the top deck and had a capacity of 575 first class, 275 second class, and 465 other passengers. Its maiden voyage took place on October 29, 1927, traveling to Buenos Aires at a speed of around 20 knots. The SS Cap Arcona was requisitioned by the Kriegsmarine for use during World War II and served as an accommodation ship in the port of Gotenhafen. It was also used as a mock version of the RMS Titanic during the filming of a German propaganda movie about the disaster. The feature was intended to show Germany had superior filmmakers and stated the ship's sinking was the result of enemy capitalism. After her brief time in film, Cap Arcona aided the evacuation of German forces from East Prussia making three trips carrying a total of 25,795 passengers across dangerous waters containing enemy submarines and sea mines. Although her role was significant in rescuing German soldiers, the repeated voyages wore out Cap Arcona's turbines, and she was decommissioned. The SS Cap Arcona was used as a prison ship in early 1945 to transport prisoners from concentration camps. The prisoners were told they were being moved to a different camp operated by guards who had escaped liberation. The SS organized a fleet of older ships to house the prisoners, including Cap Arcona, Deutschland, SS Thielbeck, and SS Athen. The prisoners, totaling between 7,000 and 10,000, were locked below deck with no food, water, or medical care. German officers later testified that the ships were supposed to travel to Sweden, but it's believed they were going to be sunk by German aircraft or submarines. The sinking of the SS Cap Arcona was not caused by the Germans, but by the British Royal Air Force, RAF. The RAF targeted the ships in Lübeck Bay on May 3, 1945, believing that high-ranking German commanders were trying to escape to Norway using false identities. Despite the Red Cross informing British intelligence about the prisoners on board the vessels the day before, the information was not given to the RAF group leading the strike. The attack left the Cap Arcona badly damaged and in flames, with many Schutzstaffel SS, members escaping by jumping overboard. Unfortunately, the prisoners locked below deck were unable to do the same and had to contend with RAF aircraft firing at them from above. As one of the pilots, Alan Wise, later recalled, We used our cannon fire at the chaps in the water. We shot them up with 20 mm cannons in the water. Horrible thing, but we were told to do it and we did it. That's war. Those who made it through this fire and were able to swim ashore had to face the German soldiers waiting to shoot them. Of the prisoners on board the SS Cap Arcona, only 350 survived. The devastating attack on the fleet has been memorialized in the surrounding communities where the victims' bodies washed ashore for over 30 years. They were buried in mass graves. Alongside them are the dead from the SS Thielbeck, whose survivors only amounted to 50 prisoners. Those aboard Deutschland were fortunately moved on to Athen before the ship sank.